Well, hello everybody. Thanks so much for joining us for another edition of the Sales Power Tips video blog. I'm Butch Bella from B2 Training and Development and ButchBella.com. Glad you could join us today. We are uh, posting this video blog at the end of May, towards the end of the month, and almost starting a new month. Time for us to get things going for that month, and as we plan that month, question for you. How much time are you going to spend in the coming month prospecting? And no matter when you're watching this, whether it's uh, uh, as it's posted new or uh, sometime in the future, how much time are you going to spend in the coming month prospecting? Whatever it is, add to it. And here's why. As we go through the steps to a sale, from uh, building rapport to uh, uh, reaffirming commitment with the buyer to asking for the sale and so forth, none of that really, really matters um, unless you are very, very good, unless you do a lot of prospecting. The best closer in the world, the person that is best at overcoming objections, all of those people are going to finish second to the person that prospects the most or the best. And I see that sometimes being left out of the process. We depend sometimes on our, on our employer to generate customers for us. Don't do that. Don't, don't leave your, your paycheck in their hands. Generate those prospects yourself, whether it's outbound calls, marketing yourself, or whatever the case may be. Spend some time, carve it out, put it on your calendar. You're going to spend this amount of time prospecting and looking for potential buyers for your product or service. Now, as you do so, uh, you will get better at the process. You will get better at prospecting. Uh, if you work from an automobile, for whatever you do, please don't prospect from your car. If you can, if you can look through the windshield at a, at, a, at a customer or a business and tell if they are or are not a good prospect, call me uh, because we, you and I need to pick lottery numbers. Nobody is that psychic to be able to look through a windshield and see if somebody's going to be a buyer or not. So don't kid yourself. Don't be prospecting from your car. Get out and meet people. When I talk about prospecting, you're simply getting out and introducing yourself to people and generating a little bit of, of conversation and, and letting them know who you are, what you do, how, how to reach you. Build that base. Build those prospects. Get those people in the hopper that you can at least call on in the future and establish some sort of contact with and maybe get the sales ball rolling. Here's the thing I will tell you about prospecting. As you're out making contacts, as you're out introducing yourself, you will be surprised a lot of times that maybe the, the initial person you went to talk to or were looking to talk to, while they may not be a prospect, if they're not, what should you ask them? Well, do you know someone or who do you know that I should be talking to? Who do you know that I should be talking to? So even if they are not a prospect, they, their brother-in-law may be, their neighbor may be, somebody down the street may be, always look for ways to find people that are qualified to, to purchase your products and services. One of the quotes that, that I have come up with in my sales career, and, and we've all seen the Glen Gary, Glen Ross, coffees for closers. If coffee is for closers, gold is for prospectors. Because let me tell you something, the people that lead the sales department in your organization and in most organizations are the people that are doing the most and best prospecting. Don't forget to carve out time to do it. Because here's the thing, we talk about planting seeds. If your sales are suffering now, it's not because of what you're doing right now, it's because of what you didn't do six months ago. So if you want to continue to see a steady flow of customers and see your business continue to build, constantly be putting new people into that mix get new people to talk to be spreading the word build your business look at yourself as your own business you've got to market yourself you've got to spread the word prospecting is nothing more than advertising yourself when you go out and introduce yourself to people you're not doing anything but but advertising one person at a time so take some time look at your calendar what do you have coming up this month as far as prospecting and prospecting opportunities? Can you be at some business mixers, ribbon cuttings, get out and, and again, places to meet people. Let them know who you are, how to reach you, what you do, 
spread the good news, sing the, the beautiful song, let them know who you are. Hey, I'm, I'm Butch, and with B2 Training and Development, this here's my card. I work with companies just like yours every day to help them get more appointments, land more business, keep more customers, all while you know focusing on bottom line profits. It, give them your elevator speech. Introduce yourself. Get the conversation started. Again, however much time you've got set aside for prospecting this month or in the coming month, add a little bit to it. You'll be glad you did in a few months when those sales start rolling in. I want to thank you for taking time to uh, join us this week and uh, remind you to check out the website at butchbella.com, B-U-T-C-H-B-E-L-L-A-H.com. Very, very shortly you'll be a, uh, an opportunity there. Uh, I'm excited about uh, my first book being uh, published soon. should be out here in the next couple of weeks, 10 Essential Habits of Sales Superstars, Plugging Into the Power of 10. It'll be available at uh, Amazon uh, in Kindle and in print form. Uh, be available at the website as well. While you're at the website, sign up for our Sales Power Tips newsletter. It kind of it's going to come to your email every Sunday night. Get you ready for a great positive week and start your Monday off with a bang. Um, and follow us on Twitter at Sales Power Tips. Email me Butch at ButchBella.com. B U T C H B E L L A H. Dot com. I'd love to hear from you. What are some things you'd like for us to cover in a future video blog? What are some stumbling blocks you're having in your sales career? Or are there things that we can help you with? would love to tackle those subjects for you and answer them here one-on-one -on -one or with our, our video blog. We've got uh, coaching services available, speaking services available. All that's uh, at the website. Check it out if you get a chance. ButchBella.com. But again, no matter how much time you're going to spend prospecting this month, add a little bit to it. You'll be glad you did. I'll see you next time, everybody.